Uh, so uh, let me see. Brittany Griner, uh, last earlier this week, Brittany Griner, who's been uh, locked up in Russia, as you know, she was recently sentenced to nine years to serving nine years in the uh, Russian prison. So, um, yeah, they hit her with, because I believe nine years was the max that she could face. So they end up hitting her with the, the fucking max, which is, it's crazy. Dude, if you, looking at it as far as U.S. laws and U.S. rules and whatnot go, it is kind of crazy. But at the same time, we got to realize she wasn't in America when this shit happened. Like, she wasn't in America, she was overseas, she was in Russia, and shit is just different over there, bro. Like, you can, you can say, because I think she got, I think she got arrested for, like, seven grams or, seven grams or some shit like that. It was, it wasn't a lot of, it wasn't a lot of nothing. It wasn't a lot of nothing, whatever she got, whatever she got um, arrested for, so. Um, but, I mean, but, you got to think, though, like I said, it wasn't over here, friend. The rules are different over there. The rules is what it is over there. The laws is what it is over there. So you gotta face you gotta face what comes with getting caught with some shit over there, bro. Like I I really hate it for her and I really I, I really do hate it for her because at the same time there is a there is a racial component with it because there was a it came out that there was a what uh I forgot what the lady did, but there was another another lady over there who got picked up. Another American citizen over there who got picked up for uh I believe I wanna say she had almost twice twice damn near three times as much of uh TAC or marijuana that Brittany Brittany Griner had on her when she got arrested. And that lady did what? It said some shit like three months and then she had to pay a fine or something like that and then she got let go versus of course Brittany getting her nine years but then there was also a man over there he was a school teacher i believe he got arrested for i want to i believe he got arrested for marijuana too and he's doing he got sentenced to 14 years i believe something like that but anyway going back to uh the other the other lady that got arrested for the for whatever the fuck she had <clears throat> she um she got arrested in i want to say it was 2018 versus Brittany Griner getting arrested uh earlier this year so not only does it play not only does is there a racial component in it there's also a a, there's also the component in it that uh, right now we are at odds with Russia over the Ukraine shit because um, Biden and the U.S. is basically taking the side of the Ukraine. So they kind of, I feel like they kind of holding that against her on top of she's black, on top of she has some sort of notoriety, on top of just whatever the fuck that they whatever the fuck does they can throw on top of it. So they I feel like they're just trying to make an example out of her. Really more so as an American citizen, more than anything, like I said, but just due to the uh the tension that's going on with uh, Russia and America right now over the Ukraine over the shit that's happening in the Ukraine. So I mean, like I said, it's fucked up that uh she has to go through what she's going through and the shit some shit that I really hate about it. It's uh, it's been a, it's, of course, motherfuckers are gonna compare some shit to some other shit. So it's been a lot of comparisons as far as um, if this was LeBron or if this was Steph Curry or anybody like that, they would be home already. And it's like, fam, fam, number one, like I said. You in a different, you in a whole different country. You got to deal with a whole different set of rules. You got to do a whole different set of punishments. And however they want to deal with it is how they want to deal with it. And also, 
there's a side of the argument to where is uh if she was a if she, she wouldn't be over there if she was in the NBA versus being in the WNBA having to go over there because the WNBA players don't get paid this much money. But my nigga, I hate to be the I hate to be the red pill nigga on this topic because like I said, it is fucked up. And I do wish her the best and I hope she don't have to go through I wish she didn't have to go through whatever the fuck she's going through right now because my nigga, I can't even fucking imagine being overseas away from home and being locked up, bro. Like, that's got to be some of the scariest shit in the fucking world, bro. Especially in fucking Russia, my nigga. Them niggas bleed fucking vodka, my nigga. Russian vodka type shit, bro. Like, it's... You got to think, this, this ain't no... This ain't no regular... This ain't no regular-ass lockup prison type shit, my nigga. These, these Russian motherfuckers is different, bro. But anyway, uh, back to back to my back to the point I was making. Um, yeah, I hate to be the the red pill nigga on this topic because you just hate to be that nigga. But it's kind of like, fam, the argument as far as she wouldn't have to be over there if people supported the WNBA. Basically, it's like we get it, bro. But like the same motherfuckers who be saying shit like that. Do y'all watch the shit either? Like this that's the part of the argument that, that really be fucking killing me because it comes down to like the this bullshit ass gender war that, that goes on all the time. And it's like motherfuckers just can't admit motherfuckers just can't admit reality sometimes, bruh. Like I that that's what I really don't understand. Motherfuckers just can't admit reality sometimes. Nobody be watching the WNBA like that, bruh. So like they might have to do what they gotta do to do what they got to do at the end of the day, which might be going overseas to China or Russia or somewhere and playing ball, fam, because it just ain't, it ain't what it is in America like it might be in these other countries as far as the, the women, the WNBA specifically. But it's like, bro, like, come on, my nigga. Like, is we really finna harp on this bullshit, bro? Like, and I guess I get it because this fucking equality shit but it's like fam shit not equal all the time shit just not gonna be equal all the time you can't have it your way every time you can't have it your way every way my nigga like some shit motherfuckers be <sighs> motherfuckers kid this is this is definitely one of my fucking pet peeves but motherfuckers be like they want the results of a perfect world but it's like fam we don't live in a perfect world because if we lived in a perfect world niggas wouldn't have to worry about getting killed because they didn't use a turn signal at the stoplight. Like, my nigga, we got big, we got deeper shit to be fucking worried about than these bullshit ass gender wars that motherfuckers is trying to push. Like, bro, that shit, that shit gets so fucking old to me, my nigga. That shit gets so old and so fucking played out, bro. It's like, it's just, it's deeper shit out here to be worried about. Like, the shit that, and this is, uh, somewhere on my topic list, but the the shit, the Breonna Taylor shit that just came out, fam, it's like we got shit like that going on, and motherfuckers is trying to push this fucking gender war bullshit. And I know I kind of got off off uh, topic a little bit as far as the Britney Griner shit. Again, uh, I think it's terrible. I hate that she's going through what she's going through, but at the end of the day, my nigga, it's kind of like what 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 can you do, bro? Like what can you do because I mean, just what can you do? Like, you went over there, and I believe she pled guilty. So it's like you knew that the shit was illegal, and you still went over there with it like, I don't know, maybe you thought you couldn't be touched or something. So it's like, fam, I, I hate it for you, but at the same time, bro, if you knew, then you fucking knew. And what the fuck do you want me to do, dog? But then they talking about uh trading, trading her for, trading her for, um, uh, the it's a Russian arms dealer. This nigga's name is this nigga got a name that's out of a goddamn comic or super villain comic book type name. This nigga was like the 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 merchant of death or some shit, bro. It's like, fam, we finna trade a fucking basketball play. Fuck who she is. Fuck, uh, fuck specifically who she is. We finna trade a mo we finna trade a motherfucker for a motherfucker to dribble a basketball. 
for the merchant of fucking death, bro. Really? That's what the fuck we doing, bro? And she went over there knowing that this shit was illegal, and you want us to trade the fucking merchant of death back to Russia for your basketball dribbling ass? My nigga, no comment. <laughs> no comment, my nigga. This, that's fam. Who the fuck is making that goddamn decision, my nigga? That is fucking insane. The merchant of fucking death for a fucking basketball player, dog. Anyways, I'm finna move the fuck on.